What's up guys. And in today's video, I'm going to explore how berberine may influence nerve growth factor and other neurotransmitters in the brain. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas. I'm the founder of Ergogenic Health. And my mission is to give you guys the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So please be sure to hit that like button below, subscribe and leave a comment as that will help with boosting the YouTube algorithm. So anyway, back to berberine. Now, hopefully many of you are familiar with berberine, um, but if you're not, it's a very versatile supplement that has been used to treat elevated uh, cholesterol, issues with blood sugar, insulin sensitivity, and also uh, gut issues such as parasites and pathogenic bacteria. So today's focus is all around how berberine can affect one's mood and the brain. And specifically, we're gonna look at how berberine can influence nerve growth factor, which is very well known in the nootropics space and those that want to improve memory and, and learning and things like that. Because lion's mane has been shown to increase nerve growth factor, a lot of people are fixated on this. So I wanted to share how berberine may actually be able to do the same, um, achieve the same outcome. So just highlighted some key points um, just to give you some context. So berberine has multiple therapeutic actions, including antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, anti anti-tumor, antimicrobial, liver protective, cholesterol lowering and blood sugar lowering actions. Uh, and berberine has a protective effect on the central nervous system, such as in Alzheimer's, cerebral ischemia, mental depression, schizophrenia, and anxiety. Um, so one key point to note is that berberine administration acutely increased norepinephrine 31%, serotonin 47%, and dopamine levels, 31%. Um, and then chronic administration of berberine for 15 days increased the levels of norepinephrine by 29%, serotonin by 19%, and dopamine by up to 52%. But the trick here and the issue is that berberine may actually block these dopamine receptors. So it can antagonize the D2 receptor and agonize the D1 receptor. So we can't just say that boosting dopamine globally is going to lead to increased motivation, mood, drive, uh, because it's having an action on these other dopamine receptors. Um, so the other key point is that berberine can actually bind to the sigma-1 receptor, which is actually a common target for many antidepressant drugs. Um, and this is the key point I really wanted to uh, illustrate was that berberine was able to potentiate nerve growth factor act activity um, and increase nerve growth factor induced neurite outgrowth in a dose dependent matter. Um, so this is important for those that have low um, like neurogenesis or poor neurogenesis activity. Uh, and they also noted that berberine has a neuroprotective effect as well. So um, I found that very fascinating. Hopefully you guys found that pretty cool as well. Um, the other interesting point to note, particularly for those that suffer from anhedonia or PSSD, is that berberine can actually activate the 5-HT1A autoreceptors and inhibits the postsynaptic 1A receptors and 2A receptors. So um, it will get a bit complicated to explain some of the outcomes of this. Um, but just think about it modulating cortisol, oxytocin, prolactin, and um, ACTH and other hormones. So uh, I just wanted to really share this uh, pretty interesting finding that, you know, berberine may be able to help with memory and learning for some individuals that have low production of nerve growth factor. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, I highly encourage you to check out uh, my Nootropics Masterclass. There'll be a link to that in the video description. Um, check out all the other cool links in my description. I have an amazing website with really useful products around um, hacking the brain and body to perform at your peak. Um, and if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. 
And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.